All right. Bring to the stage a very funny comedian, Alan Tyson. <laughs> short. <laughs> All right, Market Street Pod, how are you guys doing? Woo! Yes, excellent. I love it when I get that reaction, that little woo thing, you know, because that's something you never really hear in regular conversation, <laughs> like when a cop pulls you over, you know, you get pulled over. Excuse me, do you know how fast you're going? Woo! I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the vehicle, sir. <laughs> oh, man, yes. It's good to be here. Hello, my name is Alan Tyson. I have lived in Gainesville for 10 years. Do you guys know how long that is? It's long enough to hate Tom Petty. It's long enough to hate Tom Petty. And I get it, you know, he's a hometown hero and all this stuff. But do I have to hear his songs every fucking day? Like, do I? Like, really, I'm asking you guys. Um, <laughs> uh, no, and, and I mean this when I say this, you guys. If I do hear another Tom Petty song, it's going to be a lot more than just Mary Jane's Last Dance. I will not back down. Because I shouldn't have to live like a refugee. And something about an American girl. Uh, Oh, thank you for that. Oh, man. Let's see. Oh, okay. So, uh, do we have any fans of Abraham Lincoln in the crowd? Woo! Yeah, a couple. Yeah, he was a cool dude. You know, 13th Amendment, abolished slavery. It was a re wrestling hall of fame. Bet you guys didn't know that. But, uh, you know, he said, he said something once. It was a very famous thing he said. Uh, Whatever you are, be a good one. And that, that's inspirational, you know? But uh, I just feel like he would have been a little bit more specific if he were talking to John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> really, guys? That's the line? It's been 150 years. I think he's okay with it. <laughs> but man, whatever you are, be a good one. That's something you never say to a crackhead, you know what I mean? <laughs> because you're basically telling that poor addict, hey man, go out and OD tonight. It's kind of fucked up, you know? You know what else is fucked up? <laughs> thinking, about that, thinking about that crackhead going to rehab and just being like, man, I'm a bad crackhead. I let Honest Dave down. Oh, that's the end of that joke. Uh, how many of you guys know who Chris Cope is? Senator Chris Cope from American history? No? Nobody? He, uh... He's a very famous senator who once caned a man on the Senate floor for insulting his family. Yeah. <laughs> this happened in American politics, you guys. You think it's fucked up now. Go back to the Civil War and talk to me about it, all right? But like, here's the thing, dude. Like, this dude, was, he was giving us an anti-slavery speech and he dropped the Cope name and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this dude hears, you can't insult my kin! And Chris Cope walks up and canes the shit out of this dude. Hits him 38 times, puts him in a coma. You know what his constituents did? They bought him a cane. That's inscribed on it said, hit him again. That would be like if we bought George W. Bush a 747 with a Saudi Arabian pilot. Slipped a 9-11 joke in there on you guys. It's... One person liked it. That's okay. Oh, man. So, uh, so I don't drive. I walk around a lot. Uh, and walking around, you hear a lot of cat calls. Like, not directed at me, but, like, directed at other people. You know, better-looking people. Uh, and uh, I, 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 it, it kind of bothers me, you know, because can't we be a little bit more constructive with it? You know what I mean? You know, instead of like, that's a fine ass girl, you could be like, man, you look like you are ready to dismantle the patriarchy with your bare hands. <laughs> Doesn't that sound better? 
does to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably because you can't scream it out of a, out of a speeding car, right? Uh, so, strip clubs, you guys. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's get into it. I don't go to strip clubs. Um, uh, and it's mainly because I don't have a good resting face for it. <laughs> this, this is not a strip club face, you guys. This, this face does not say thankfulness or, you know, like, hey, that, that was kind of hot. It more just says straight judgment. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel like a strip club should be a judgment-free zone. You know why I'm here. I know why you're here. Let's just get this over with so I can eat chicken and waffles naked in my bed. <laughs> and here's the $20. <laughs> All right, I've got one more joke for you guys. Um, uh, did you guys know that you have a, statistically, you have a higher chance of getting raped by a dolphin than eaten by a shark. <laughs> At least you learned something. <laughs> Putting that out there. Like, you guys know how many people got eaten by a shark last year? 10. You know how many people got raped by a dolphin? 12. That means if, you, if you're ever swimming in the ocean and there's a pod of dolphins, at least one of those dolphins is gonna try to have a pass at you. <laughs> that ain't fair. And let's be real, guys, it's the surfer's fault. It's the surfer's fault, you know? If they didn't want to get raped, they shouldn't be out there at night looking all sexy and watery, you know, slipping and sliding all seductively on those waves. Said the dolphin rights activist. What the fuck is wrong with you people? What the fuck is wrong with you people? The, the, the fucked up thing about that is we all know that that dolphin is only going to spend three months in SeaWorld <laughs> because he has a promising swimming career. Woo! Thank you so much. That's my time, you guys.